flies, man. So you guys want to know what camera I'm using to get all of my car footage and throw out every single one of my vlogs? It's a $400 GoPro. They call me FNAC Dano and don't play no by my face. Big potato on that trick of who can dare to hold my face. Ain't no spins up on my cheeks. Sweet you clean, fuck you say. Keep the teeth, no dentures, please. Press this nerd, no dentures, please. Say G for the cameras. Hey, G for the dancers. Ben G for the safe, that's right. So all of that car footage that you just barely saw was made by me using my brain all alone with the GoPro Hero 8. We're going for a walk for a couple of reasons. One, because I'm always telling you guys to get out and exercise and I need to get my daily source of exercise. And two, because my dumb ass will forget a bunch of crap if I just sit in front of a camera and talk about the GoPro Hero 8. So the first thing that I want to say, brother, is this is a consumer friendly review. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty bull crap that you can just simply read on Amazon when you're going to buy the GoPro. I'm just going to talk about some of the features and my personal opinion on whether it's worth the $400. Let's get that out of the way right now. For $400 recording at 4K 60 frames per second at 100,000 bit rate which is what every single one of my vlogs are uploaded as, is absolutely nuts. You cannot find another camera that records at that quality for 400 bucks. That's a really low price for a camera like this. As far as the features, let's get the ISO out of the way first because that's the one I don't really care about. So what that is, is you can up it for dark areas and you can lower it. If you're out in the day, it really doesn't matter, like quite literally. You can put the ISO all the way down, you can put the ISO all the way up. And during the day, it's not gonna make any difference. But in dark areas, you can up that. But the thing is, if you up it from the default, which is just what I ended up putting it back to, is it adds a lot of noise. So, you know what I mean? Not noise, like audio noise, but you guys know what I'm talking about if you're watching a review of a camera. You know what I mean? It adds like those sparkly things. So that's what that does. I have never seen stability control on a camera like this. You got to keep in mind that footage you saw with the car was me hanging my hand out of a window with what I'm vlogging on right now to get the side shots of my car, that's all I ended up doing and it was that stable. The only downside to this is, I'm sure you guys have noticed this in some of my vlogs where I'm driving with you. The stability, the simplest way to put this, and I know this sounds really confusing, but so basically the GoPro, it the file size is only 4K, but like what the camera is looking at is like an 8K resolution. So when the camera is like turning, if you're doing like a donut in your car, if you're doing whatever, if you're drifting around a corner or something, like the camera, it looks like it's twisting even if it's staying in the same spot. And that's because the field of view on it is just so big. And that, I mean, it's nice to have, but if you want your face in a certain position, you know, when you're in your car doing that kind of stuff, you're gonna wanna turn the stability control off, which comes into the next thing. One of the reasons I never wanted to get a GoPro is because of that fisheye look where the corners have that like ring to it. This has, obviously you can choose this option in the GoPro Hero 8, but the linear option, which is what I use, is basically, there. It's, the, it's still there a little bit, which you can kind of tell when I got the side shots of my car, how it, it makes my car look a little bit bigger than it actually is. But it, like right now, it's not noticeable. You know what I mean? It's It's like only certain situations, you can tell what's going on with it. And then, I mean, 
obviously you can record at 1440p the sharpness can be adjusted i have my sharpness on medium because high looks really awkward that's that's a default setting and i honestly don't know why i just use the default colors and that's another thing that i really like about this is what like what you're seeing is what i am seeing right now so it doesn't like up the saturation like a phone would do it doesn't up the contrast like a phone would do and this also applies to photos so you know when you're editing a video or something if you're editing a picture something that i have noticed and keep in mind i've been doing youtube for a very long time is when like say i'm recording with my phone the saturation is up if i try to reduce the saturation because it's too much the quality is crap but if you take uh, the normal photo like the gopro and up the saturation the quality is the exact same obviously you don't want to freaking crank it all the way up because of course it's going to look like shit but i think you guys understand what i'm talking about upping stuff a little bit is much different than reducing it so it's nice to have just the default camera and that kind of stuff so one thing that i do or two things let's get the two complaints out of the way so for some freaking reason and it's not bluetooth because i turned all my bluetooth crap off and it still did it they go it'll turn on by itself like over and over and over again but the way that you fix it is you simply take the battery out and put it back in and then just turn it off i don't know why it does that but that's how you fix that and then the other thing is sometimes it like it just decides it doesn't want to work anymore it doesn't want to turn on again same thing how you fix that is you take the battery out and put it back in so now that we're talking about the battery thing the thing dies extremely quick when you're recording at 4k 60 frames per second at the maximum bit rate mind you the quality is absolutely nuts so of course the battery is going to drain and they do have like separate batteries that you can buy and chargers that'll like charge your battery when you put it on the thing so it's not that big of a deal but i mean every single one of my videos man is done with a gopro that 50 and one gopro kit that i got for like 20 bucks over on amazon and all of my shit's linked in the description like quite literally everything all of my car accessories all of my vlogging stuff all of my gaming channel stuff everything dude it's all linked in the description of my videos because comments are something that i'm always checking and when people want to know what i have or what i'm using to make videos or you know what i mean something like that i don't want to have to like reply everything that i have i'm just like if you check the description you know what i mean but yeah man let's see user friendly review of the gopro hero 8 i i like dude like it's crazy it really is you cannot get a camera like this for 400 dollars unless you're getting the gopro the screen on the thing is freaking puny but i mean it's meant for being active and that kind of crap so of course it's going to be smaller but yeah man i'm going to go ahead and wrap the video up here i hope that you guys enjoyed it if you're new to the channel you know what to do don't forget to subscribe throw a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace